For this passage, let's try to do this one the way you might under time pressure in the actual test. So instead of me summarizing everything that I would like to summarize for you about it, let's assume that you're really in a hurry and you just want to start. So you would skin the beginning and just glance at the figure and then start. So the beginning would tell you that there are these salts, solutes, and they get dissolved into a solvent, in this case, water. Now there's a maximum. So we can put in some salts and it just gets dissolved into the water and then we can add more and it just gets dissolved into the water. But at some point, nothing more gets dissolved. So we add more and it just drops to the bottom. So figure one shows the maximum salts that you can add to 100 grams of water before that limit is reached. And it varies across temperature. So warmer water can dissolve more salt. So if we look, for instance, at figure one and we isolate this particular salt, you can see that at this temperature, there would be more salt in the water than the water could hold. So all this would kind of rain down and just fall to the bottom of the beaker. But if we warm that up and we put the same amount of salt in at the, in the warmer water, we can see that the water can easily handle the salt and dissolve all of it. All right, so let's get started. So question number one says, according to figure one, which of the following is least soluble at 30 degrees Celsius? And so we have these four to choose from. And when we look at these four, we can see easily it's this one. This is the one that's least soluble at 30 degrees Celsius. We're going to go up from 30, and yep, that's the one.